All right, well, so this is our this is our cigar box. I'm going to leave this. I really like this um this felt that's in here. There's no reason to monkey with it. I'm also not going to change anything about this lip or this liner. It's a beautiful cedar, so it's all good. I'm also going to go ahead and reuse. I'm going to take these off but I'm going to reuse them. And the same goes for my hinges. We want to get these out of the way uh, so, that, so, that I, so that we can sand and not have to worry about them. I wouldn't want to have to mask these little things off, you know. Um, so it's just better to, because all these stickers need to be removed. Um, this will sand right off. It's not embossed, but this is actually burned into the wood and then filled with this gold. Um, same with this. So there's some work to do here to get this ready uh, for paint. What comes out of it will will be good. And so play along. Get a box. Let's do this. Let's grain a box. Our cigar box has, is all ready for, for our base coat. It's, it's primed, it's masked, it's sanded. I gave it about a uh, 200 grit sand. Um, made sure there are no pins, no, no uh, pointy spots or rough areas at all. I want a very high quality finish on this. I'm going to put three coats of this very light yellow for my maple on this box. So let's get through this.
I applied the second and third coats of the tinted kills for my base coat and let that dry. It dries very quickly again. And then I went ahead and hit it with a with a sanding sponge at 200 grit or so. And then again with a 400 grit wet dry paper, I just did it dry. You could go wet, you could get really into it and put on extra layers and make it very glossy. And why would you do that? Well, if you had a better constructed box, a higher quality box, you might want to do that. It is a jewelry box. It's close focus artwork. It's going to sit on a desk. Um, it would pay to make something like this very shiny um, or very, very smooth. The smoother you make this, the smoother each consecutive layer will be. And it's, it's just easier to make every layer smooth when you start at, with smoothness. So um, this isn't quite that to that extent, but it's pretty nice. I'm, I like it. I'm happy with it. And, oh, I was going to mention um, when you're sanding this, anything with, anytime you have a corner, um, it's really easy to burn right through a corner down to wood or whatever the surface is. So it, corners are notoriously easy to, to mess up also with a buffer if you're working on cars and you have a corner such as a fin. Um, so just all you do on corners is you just lightly touch them and you'll notice that that's enough to take off whatever burrs from the, your primer and paint are, are on that corner. And then you can really get into the flat surface and get that smooth. So uh, that's all, just a word of warning about corners. And um, our, our masking tape is holding up nicely. We're ready to move on to undertone. Mm -hmm.